Hey what's going on guys, it's Tom here back today with another video and today I'm going to be covering some of the kind of equipment that's going to be in Black Ops 2, it's going to be in the kind of tactical slot in the pick 10 system and this is actually going to be quite a good slot and one thing they've had to do this year is kind of beef up all the things that were kind of overlooked before because in terms of like tactical grenades and that kind of thing they are now worth a point which is essentially the same as a perk or a primary so they do have to make these a lot better in this year's game that's why all the secondaries are actually really good in this year's game as well, I'm going to be covering them in another video pretty soon but yeah today I'm going to be covering the kind of tactical grenades or the equipment that's going to be coming to the game. I've been talking about doing this for a while now and I wanted to let you guys in on the info about what I liked and what worked well and just give you a bit of general information about everything that's in there. So there's a few things that are coming back from previous games. I'm going to try and get a few pictures up on screen when I'm actually showing you things that are going to be in the game. The first one is going to be the good old concussion grenade. This has pretty much been in Call of Duty for a very long time. It's it's going to slow movement, disorientate targets, and temporarily disable enemy equipment and turrets. So that's the concussion grenade coming back like it normally is. Next one is the flashbang, and I think again the throwing time between the concussion and the flashbang is going to be very similar. Now the flashbang again is going to do a very similar thing, it's going to blind targets, impair hearing, and temporarily disable enemy equipment and turrets again like the concussion grenade. So them two are quite similar and they're returning just as they have been in previous games. Now one other thing that's returning is the EMP grenade. This made a first time appearance in Modern Warfare 3, so it seems like this is a kind of future weapon that's only been available in the games that are set in the future. Again, it's going to come back very similar to what it's like in Modern Warfare 3, and it's going to disable enemy electronic systems. So those are pretty much the boring ones that we've actually seen before, but now we got onto some really good stuff. The first one is going to be the sensor grenade, and I do think the sensor grenade is going to be a really, really great piece of tactical equipment. This is pretty much what's going to be kind of replacing like the motion sensor. I'd say that's what it's closest to in the old games, but it's nowhere near as powerful as that. I'm actually going to do a video going a bit more in depth about this piece of equipment in the future, but basically the sensor grenade is going to be used to detect enemies. So this is actually very similar to having like concussion or flash grenades when you're running recon in Modern Warfare 3, because you remember when you're actually running recon, on. I think the expression was that it painted enemies that had explosive damage done to them and this is going to do the same kind of thing. You're going to throw the sensor grenade out there and anyone that's kind of in its shock range is actually going to show up on the minimap. So that's how the sensor grenade is going to work. They're actually trying to kind of stop the motion sensor because I think generally that was seen as, you know, at first it was actually seen as a kind of campus tool but in this year's game I think in Modern Warfare 3 it was just, you know, too powerful for people that were getting in the spawn. So they've actually got rid of that and they're coming back with the sensor grenade and I think that's going to be a lot more balanced in this year's game. The next piece of equipment we have is a shock charge, and again, this is very powerful. It's going to electrocute and stun nearby enemies, and we've actually seen a little bit of footage of this in the trailers. You actually throw it very similarly to a throwing knife. Then if an enemy is nearby, it's going to shock them straight away. If an enemy isn't actually nearby, it's actually going to lodge itself into the ground. And then when an enemy actually comes into the proximity, it's then going to go off and shock them. So in that sense, you know, it's always going to hit an enemy, you know, as long as the game doesn't end, something like that. So I do think it's a good piece of tactical equipment in that sense. And I think a lot of people are going to be spending not only one, but two points on this piece of tactical equipment. Another new one we have right here is the Black Hat PDA. This can be very similar to the Hacker Pro perk that we saw in the original Black Ops. This piece of tactical equipment is going to allow you to hack other pieces of equipment and also enemy care packages and also disable enemy vehicles. Now finally the last two pieces of tactical equipment we have seen before. The Tactical Insurgent is again coming back. Again it's not going to be available in free for all game modes so hopefully that will stop the boosting. And the final piece of equipment that we have is coming back from Modern Warfare 3. It was new in Modern Warfare 3 and it's going to be coming back, the trophy system. In this year's game, it does look a little bit different. I've got a picture of how it looks on screen right now. It actually spins around in this year's game and it looks actually quite cool. You know, when I first saw it, I was really fixated on it. I was like, what the hell is this thing doing? But yeah, it does look quite cool and it's going to be just as effective as it was in Modern Warfare 3. And also one final thing that's going to be coming back from previous games is the smoke grenade. Not really much to say about this before, it was actually called the Willy Peak in the original Black Ops. It's going to produce a smoke screen immediately upon impact. So anyway guys, that's all the tactical equipment that's coming to Black Ops 2. I do think some of the best things are going to be the sensor grenade and also the shock charge. Those are the ones that I'm probably going to be spending the points on when I need to. But yeah, I hope you guys now know a little bit more about the equipment that's coming to Black Ops 2. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like guys, it really helps out my channel. And also if you are new, make sure to subscribe. Apart from that, check out a couple of my previous videos, got those on screen right now, and I'll catch you guys with another video very soon.